welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkjan Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yesterday is the video all about my uh, visit to Landsbergen 2024. Uh, maybe later this year, uh, around October, I will go again. They most of the times have two open houses per year. Last year I only went once uh, due to circumstances, but uh, who knows. But uh, at the 25th uh, of May, I went to the open house again. And uh, it's such a beautiful uh, day out for me. I really enjoy it. And uh, again, I met some uh, subscribers, which is great. I also met some people from the Facebook group and some people I already met before. So it was nice uh, catching up and uh, talking uh, only about orchids, orchids and more orchids, which is wonderful, of course. So yeah, I uh, did go back again and I have shot, shot some footage uh, indoors of the plants with my phone i will show you that in a minute after that we will have a look at uh if i did find any plants of course i did have uh, find a few new ones i think a pretty pretty uh, awesome new plants so we will have a look at them as well but first of all like i said we're going to have a look at all the plants well quite a few of them not even all they have about a million i believe it's it's crazy absolutely crazy but let's uh, let's have a look at the uh, amazing plants so yes, they probably have, uh, no, not, <laughs> it almost feels like they have all the plants, all the orchid species that are out there because it's, uh, there are so many, but uh, they have just a section of, of plants and they have quite a few of them. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, for me, it's mind blowing. If you step inside and you see all of these beautiful orchids, it really is crazy. And it was hard to get them uh, all in, 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 in one shot, but I will try to uh, give you an overview here and there of uh, the amount of plants that are, that are there. But um, I did most of the filming um, in the section in the selling area, at, at least for this day, they normally do not sell uh only on uh, stores or uh, garden centers etc so not uh, individual uh, uh, visitors but only on the open house it really is uh, is beautiful to have a look around and to uh, to get that ability they are very uh, very friendly people and you can can ask them any questions you like uh, uh, care guides but also uh, how to deal with pests and what type of care the plants need etc so, and there was also a beautiful, beautiful table of Miltoniopsis. And uh, I just received a message, so it's two weeks later, that I can buy two of them. They, that, that, those were not uh, for sale. They weren't uh, also not in the uh, selling area, but on display, are ready to go on display for a show in, in Denmark, I believe. But I just, uh, like I said, I received a message that I can buy two of them. So uh, one of the days uh, I should have two of these beautiful Miltoniopsis there. There was one variety that was yellow with pink. Absolutely amazing. And he did only get two of those uh, varieties, the colors of varieties out of uh, a bunch of seedlings. But he said some of them didn't bloom yet, but if you have more, I will uh, be one of them, uh, uh, one of the people that can, can buy one. Who knows, who knows? So far, I didn't hear about that plant yet, but you never know, but it was absolutely stunning. A beautiful yellow orange color with a hint of pink in there and that waterfall pattern. I never ever saw so, such a beautiful Miltoniopsis before. So I can I can completely understand that he don't want, doesn't want to sell those two yet because I, he needs them for hybridizing and, and to uh, breed on, etc. But like I said, who knows, who knows? Anyhow, um, that was uh, a, a bit of uh, behind the scenes of Landsbergen, uh, Landsbergen's open house. Let's have a look at the plants right now. That I bought, of course. <laughs> so here we go. So amongst all of those Nelly Eilers you just saw, there was one that stood out completely. It's this one. And that's so that's the first plant that I bought. It was. I saw it and I fell in love with it. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It has the colors that I love and such an unusual colors uh, to it, combination I should say. Uh, I have the, the red ones, the yellow one I have orange one but i never saw something like this so this is just i think uh, amongst the seedlings just one one off color i think 
So it's not an, a named one. It's just a Nella Alia that uh, that show up like this. But yeah, this amongst all of those Nella Alias, there was only one that was like this. And I thought, I I need this one. <laughs> I want to have this one. What a beauty! Absolutely stunning. And the plant itself looks very nice very nice we have a beautiful new strong new growth here healthy plant and beautiful colors on there and we have a, a beautiful spike as you can see so that one i took and i took this one here we go this looks more similar but if you look closely it's different at least uh, than the ones that i have it's more of a, a rusty red color and I think, yeah, maybe there were a few that did look like this, but as, again, not, not many. So I think it's the same story as the more yellow one, just an uh, one, one off sort of uh, amongst the seedlings and uh, absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I hope the camera does, I think it does, uh, does it justice, the colors, but it's a bit of uh, red and orange, a bit of a rusty color. I absolutely love it. Beautiful lip there absolutely beautiful and again looks quite nice for Nelly Eiler quite some bulbs in there this one has a few more bulbs than the other the more yellow one I'm looking for new growths I don't see them yet did I miss some I don't think so but it looks uh, very very healthy so uh, soon we probably will have some new growths on this one as well so that's uh, with, uh, what I started with, two beautiful Nelly Eilers. And, and then we have the second uh, two plants over here. I'm going to start with this one. This is a very common one. And they have it, uh, well, the last two times they had it for sale. I didn't pick it. Don't know why. It's a beautiful plant. This is the uh, Cattleya Santelier. Yeah, I hope I pronounced that right. A very common one amongst the YouTubers, I think. I will put the names in the screen just to be sure because there will be a few that I uh, don't remember completely. But anyhow, this is the uh, Chantilly Lay and uh, absolutely beautiful looking plant. has a beautiful new uh, roots growing there and that's why I picked this one. There were a few that were in bloom but I looked at the plant and I think that this is also a new growth and this one, that one is blooming. So we have two directions of growth. And that was what I was looking for. There were some mealy bugs on there, so I need to spray them. After this filming, I will spray them uh, straight away. Just to be sure, I have some mealy bugs myself. It, it just happens, especially when you have so many plants. But just keep on top of them, and you should be fine. But it looks very healthy, and it's, uh, it's ready for a repot with all those beautiful new roots. So this Chantelilie is uh, over there. I finally have it. And then next to it, <laughs> also a cat layer, but look at the size and the roots. This one is absolutely unruly. And here we go. Here is the bloom. Look at this. Isn't this a beauty? Even though it may already be uh, going a little bit. But yeah, we just saw the prices and, and the price is uh, absolutely right for these guys. But it's, they are so beautiful. And this one has a name tag because the, the hybridizer was there. It's uh, Michael Tips is his name. And he does the crosses over there. He does the, um, or at least mostly. And this is one of uh, his own crosses. And this is the name he uh, have given it. So I think you will have a hard time finding this. Maybe he has his own, own company as well. I will put a website uh, in a video description. And you can always uh, email them and ask for this name. And maybe he has one, uh, one left if you like it. But a very strong Cattleya. Beautiful new roots. New growth here. Another new growth there. And I think I saw another one over here somewhere. Not completely sure. But it should be another one. If I'm correct. Well, maybe we have two. And we will have one on this one. This is just blooming. So also a new, uh, new growth. I think. Yeah, I currently see two. I thought I saw another one. I cannot find it. Yeah, here it is. You see? There. I hope you can see it. There it is. <laughs> and probably this one will grow a new growth as well once it's done blooming. So we may, may ha have even four directions of growth, which I like. It will make a very large plant in a fairly short time. 
and then these beautiful big big blooms absolutely stunning for i believe 15 euros i think it's that is around 17 dollars uh, i think the dollar is just a little bit uh, higher value wise so if you saw the prices in uh, in the video like i said uh, you need to add two dollars and you have the uh, almost the exact price it varies a little bit per day of course but uh yeah that is this one it's absolutely beautiful so uh two new catlayer types a very large one and a uh, nice compact smaller one <laughs> and then i found this one i am in love with <laughs> these large blooms they are so beautiful I absolutely love growing uh, uh, on onto the uh, glossum types, Bialara types orchids, because of the star-shaped, fairly large blooms. Not all have these uh, very star-shaped blooms, but uh, but the color variation I love and uh, and the, the very uh, large blooms. So this one looks a little bit dehydrated. There's a little bit of brown on the new growth, but I think it's okay. But yeah, it needs to come out of the pot asap. So I will do that soon, but it's after filming because otherwise I might probably will lose the blooms fairly short after the repot, which is okay. But I will uh, film it. I just took my pictures for my notes. I like to do that so I know how the blooms look like. I don't have a name for it. If you recognize it, please let me know. I would uh, love to have the name. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I really like that almost lavender color on that lip there absolutely stunning so i think it's a bialara type sort of and amongst all the miltonias there was another one i did find a similar one earlier but this one is again a little bit different it's a type of sunset i believe a little bit smaller bloom but you can see it's almost yellow and white there, are, there is a bit of color there in the center one day i would hope to find a uh, that i know they are there uh, th th then you have only the yellow and a white lip which i absolutely would love but this is so close and amongst all those miltonias all those sunsets that i saw there was only this one so i thought i'm going to take it it's a very large plant and it's just beautiful we have quite some spikes over here and there so yeah i thought i'm, I'm going to take it i uh <laughs> Although I have one that's very similar, if I don't forget, I will put a picture up. Maybe I should hold the camera like this, so you can compare. It's just a little bit different, but um, like I said, it's just, again, one-off seedling, I think. Just a little bit different color-wise. Maybe it's across, it, it, it's some, something with the sunset, I believe. I don't know uh, exactly, but uh, the color-wise, it should be uh, there some, some Miltonia sunset in it which is actually a mill miltonia but yeah i keep calling it miltonia sunset anyhow that is that one and so far look at all those beautiful blooms yes i have a few more <laughs> uh yes <laughs> this is probably the biggest one that i did find again i think it was only 15 euros and this is the eradicant i will have the full name uh, in, in the screen. I, I remember it as the uh, Encyclia Radicans, but it's now uh, reclassified if I'm correct. But anyhow, and the fragrance on this one, absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of Jasmine. Absolutely Jasmine. I have a Jasmine outside and this is very, very similar. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this one has the mealy bug, so I need to uh, spray it. And look at all those roots. Sadly, most of them feel papery, you can see. So I think with all the movement around in trays and from nurseries, maybe different uh, parts of the nursery, they started to break. Feel very dry. So I need to cut off quite some roots, but as you probably already saw, we have quite some new growths. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten already whoops that was a leaf i'm sorry i already see 10 new growths so it should be fine but this one needs to come out of the pot and uh then i will put it in a big tray i think because it's a very large plant but i'm i'm afraid i need to cut off uh, quite a lot of roots so it's still it's dry already so i will water it and 
it may uh, maybe set back a little bit because uh, yeah like i said i need to cut those roots off and then i hope to grow it on and uh, let it get even bigger and bloom beautifully but absolutely this is stunning i really like the blooms as well and the fragrance is fantastic absolutely fantastic so yeah we have a table full of plants i have now one two three four five six seven i have one left <laughs> and you probably may guess it if i'm going for an open house and i know where to keep them i obviously look for a miltoniopsis the first thing as soon as i arrive because i love them but believe it or not i didn't find any i thought it took me a while because there was only one and it was on a different place they keep them uh, close to the nelly eilers normally but there weren't any but in one tray i found one miltoniopsis and it's this one and it's beautiful i love it again it reminds me of the princess diana so it's maybe a color form of that one i don't know but have you ever bought such a big large miltoniopsis i didn't i'm always happy you at least get two or three bulbs on a miltoniopsis most of the times they try to sell them with one bulb and a spike on which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me, but anyhow, because it's very hard to uh, keep them alive if you buy them in, with one bulb, but this one is beautiful. But yeah, the media I don't like because it doesn't work for me, but I see a lot of new growth in there. Maybe it's two plants, but it looks like one to me, to be honest. So this is maybe they did use it for some crosses and they didn't completely like it. And it's more of a moral plant, so to speak. I don't know but uh, i do know that i do like it and there was only one amongst all of those orchids there that was for sale and um, pff, what did i pay for it probably eight eight euro or something i mean eight euros for such a plant with these blooms where do you find it i think you can find it only with the nurseries themselves and then even if you go online and look, watch the videos where they do these uh, nursery visits a lot of them have not prices like this <laughs> but anyhow uh, so yeah a few mealy bucks here and there i don't mind some bad media some bad roots i don't mind overall these plants look very well and very healthy and especially for those prices once again absolutely beautiful so this these are the plants absolutely stunning <laughs> i'm so happy so i'm not sure if you ever have uh, had the ability to uh, go to a, a nursery of orchids but if you have and didn't do already i highly suggest you go because if you uh, uh, as crazy as me about the orchids it's absolutely beautiful just to be there and there's so much to take in there are so many plants and yeah, especially when they are cheap and for sale. Yeah, I, I did have a hard time not to buy too many plants because I already have uh, quite a lot. This is just a section of plants that I have behind me. But anyhow, it's absolutely beautiful. And like I said uh, earlier in this video, it's for me, it's it, it's a, just a day out. I, I don't have much time to uh, take a vacation, but so, uh, sometimes I just uh, have one of those days that I can go. And especially the open houses of Landsbergen are like I said, at least once uh, per year or sometimes two, two times per year, I, I will go there. I, uh, I just uh, have a beautiful break and be surrounded by, uh, by orchids and people that love orchids at, at least as much as I do. So yeah, it's, it's so much fun. So many friendly people. And uh, like I said also earlier is that I did met some people, uh, subscribers from my channel. So thank you so much. Uh, starting to talk with me because I obviously I don't know if you follow my channel or not but you uh, probably recognize me and it's just uh, if you see this video and you uh, will uh, come across um, me you will meet me somewhere please let me know I, I uh, really enjoy uh, meeting you guys so anyhow it was a beautiful day out and I really hope you like this video of course as usual if you have any questions suggestions maybe you want updates etc please uh, feel free to leave that in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.